Okay, so in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the nesting capabilities of Enroute. Um, there's a few different options for nesting. There's this, uh, the nest objects. You can also do the dynamic nesting or the nest multiples of objects. Um, they each use a different algorithm for the nesting. Um, if you're having a hard time doing the nesting like you said you had with this file right here, uh, nesting all these using the nest option, it wasn't able to fit into the one plate. You can try uh, one of the other two options as well. I'm going to show you one that I just did right now that worked. If you use the nest multiples of objects, um, this you can use to make multiple co Like if you have one object and you want to make ten of them and nest it all into a plate, you can use this. But right here, we're only putting one copy of each of these on the plate. Um, I use the half uh, degree angle because you had mentioned that you don't care about the the grain or anything like that if you if there's an issue with um, you know with wood grain you can change this and you know so it only would change it to 90 degree or 180 degree really you know different uh, angles so it only flip as much as that so with this will allow each of these objects to flip as much as every 0.5 degrees around itself uh, I'll leave a zero gap and zero margin there doesn't need to be a gap between this it automatically leaves a little small gap so that it can do the cut um, Okay, um, you can choose anywhere you want to nest on the tool on the plate. I uh, chose the right. This one did work. So then you pick all the items that you're going to be nesting together. All these objects right here that you have right here. Okay, so all those are chosen. Then you click OK, and it's going to nest it to the right of the plate, the middle right of the plate, and it'll work out for itself from there. Sorry, my phone is ringing there for a second. Uh, let me see. So it's finishing processing right here. Um, this takes a little bit, you know, maybe a minute or so to figure this out. Due to the fact it has to do a lot of algorithms, especially since we're doing such a small angle. Um, it can move each of these objects every, every 0.5 degrees around itself and try to put them all in the plate. So it has a little bit of math it has to do. Let's let it finish here processing in a minute. Okay, that only took like five more seconds, but I had paused it already. Uh, let's see right here. So we have all the items nested onto the plate right here. Um, so they all fit on here. There's 17 of them that you had. So this is one of the other options you can use, or you could always try if you can't get it to work even this way. I mean, you can mess. Like I said, you can play with the different angles, different areas of on the plate that you're gonna nest it to. And that will make a difference. Um, sometimes it might not work. Sometimes it might, depending what angle on this. Um, or you can use the dynamic nesting tool, which is the one that you can click on the object and drag it onto the plate, and it will move itself around. You know, try to flip itself around to try to fit anywhere on the plate um, it, that it can. Or you can also use your arrow keys. So these are some of the other options with nesting you have within route. Uh, hopefully this helps you.